It's a beautiful January day here in Southwest Florida. It's nice and cool out, and it's a perfect day to talk to you about temperature coefficient. Most people don't realize that solar panels perform better in cool weather. When it's warmer out, solar panels degrade in performance. Temperature coefficient refers to how a solar panel reacts to temperature. So obviously you want the best panel. That would imply you want the panel with the best temperature coefficient, but that might not be the case. And I'm gonna tell you why. So let's dig into the spec sheets and take a look at two different solar panels at two different price points and determine what the temperature coefficient is on each and see what the differences would be in a real world scenario. Okay, we're gonna look at two panels here. These are both great panels. On the left, we have the REC Alpha Pure R series. This panel has one of the lowest temperature coefficients on the market. On the right, we're looking at the M Solar 144 BB 440 watt panel. And this one, the temperature coefficient's a little bit higher. Both panels are in a similar power range. These are the spec sheets side by side. And if you look at the temperature coefficient of the REC panel, it's negative 0.24% per degree Celsius. What that means is for each degree Celsius above the test temperature, which is 25 degrees, the solar panel performance will be degraded by 0.24%. Now, if we look at the M solar panel, the temperature coefficient is negative 0.36% per degree Celsius. So it's 50% higher. That means as temperature rises, the M solar panel will lose more performance than the REC panel. The test temperature is 25 degrees Celsius. The maximum temperature of solar panels is roughly 65 degrees Celsius, and that would be on a really hot day. The thing is though, solar panels are not always operating at the maximum temperature. Sometimes they're below the test temperature. If you do the math, the REC panel will be degraded by 9.6% when it's 40 degrees Celsius above the test temperature. On the other hand, the M solar panel will be degraded by 14.4%. That's a difference of 4.8%, or let's just call it 5%. So at the maximum temperature, the REC panel is going to outperform the M solar panel, all else being equal, by about 5%. However, on average, the losses will be much less than that. Let's call it somewhere in the middle, about 2% or 3%. Now, when you factor in cost, what if I told you that the REC panel costs me twice as much as the M solar panel? That's right, you would be paying twice as much for a panel just to gain a couple percent of additional performance. Obviously there's other factors at play here, but temperature coefficient should be a very small part of your calculus when determining which panel to buy.